The Wall Street Journal reports China has banned government officials from using iPhones at work. At the same time, President Xi Jinping will not attend the G20 summit in India. Sounds like a little isolation here. Florida Congressman Mike Waltz joins me. Congressman, I think there's a new world order taking shape. My question is, is President Biden, Biden the leader of the free world? Well, Stu, I can tell you for certain there are millions of people fighting for their freedom in Afghanistan, in Iran, in Cuba, in Venezuela, that they're doubting if he's still the leader of the free world uh, for certain. Uh, what do you think? Well, look, Stu, uh, <laughs> this is what, what you're seeing with Xi uh, not attending the G20 is his uh, further efforts to realign uh, the world order led by the United States and by the West. He is looking to do everything he can to sever the United States relationship with Europe, the United States relationship with the, the um, economies in the Pacific, like Japan, South Korea, Australia. And then in Bolton, there's a reason he didn't attend the G20, but he is attending BRICS uh, and the, to embolden uh, what they call the Global South and to enhance China's relationships with Latin America, South America, the Middle East, and parts of South Asia. They want to replace the United States. She plans to replace the United States. And part of that is sidelining some of these uh, organizations that the U.S. has traditionally led and then enhancing others that China has a leading role in. Uh, change the subject. Senate, Senate Majority Leader Schumer, he says the only way to avoid a government shutdown is bipartisanship. Roll tape. The only way <laughs> to avoid a shutdown is through bipartisanship. So I urge, I plead with House Republican leadership to follow the Senate's lead and pass bipartisan Democrat and Republican appropriation bills supported by both parties. Uh, Senator Schumer is pleading with you, Congressman. What's your response? <laughs> well, it doesn't surprise me that Senator Schumer just wants the spending spree to continue. Uh, he wants same old, same old status quo. Uh, the amount of domestic non-defense uh, spending uh, has exploded over the last few years. We've got to cut it back, Stu. Uh, it, it's just not sustainable. Our debt uh, is exploding. Inflation is still there. People are living paycheck to paycheck and throwing more money uh, at progressive government pro uh, programs just isn't going to work. It's not sustainable. Our balance sheet can't handle it. It's got to stop. And look, D.C., Washington, D.C. never acts unless it's faced with some type of crisis. Uh, and so now is the time for us to... to uh, to get our spending under control. You don't mind if there's a government shutdown? Well, look, I think we should always avoid a government shutdown and do anything we can. Uh, we need to pass these appropriations bills, but we need to get good conservative policy in there. Uh, and I think that's what you're going to see over the next month. I want to turn to immigration. You and I have talked a lot about immigration, and the migrant situation seems to be exploding all across the country. It's becoming a much yep. more important issue. Is it a big issue in next year's election? Well, I think it's going to be a huge issue. I uh, have led the effort to take on the cartels, to use military resources. That can be satellite, cyber, uh, drones, what have you. It's not an invasion of Mexico like the media wants to, to spin it. We're on a cartel task force. That's the in the house. That's the key here, Stu. These cartels control 30% of Mexico and our border, and they're pumping people, fentanyl, weapons. Uh, and if this was ISIS or Al Qaeda doing this, it wouldn't even be a debate. We've got to take a stronger stand. And I think that's what you're seeing now uh, in the Republican primary. And in terms of the popular uh, uh, view of it, when you have people taking over soccer fields in New York City, when you have tens of thousands staying in hotels and then being offered a job uh, by mayors, that is right on people's uh, front doorstep. And you're seeing a pushback uh, across the board from Chicago to New York to all kinds of other sanctuary cities. This is no longer a border problem. This is now a Main Street problem. It's gotten so bad. And I do think you're going to see voters uh, taking it on as a huge issue. China, government shutdown, 
migrants covered it all. Congressman, congratulations in three and a half minutes. That's pretty good stuff. Congressman, <laughs> we'll see you again soon. I know we will. Thank you, sir.